Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over a second use case for data frames, and I'm going to explain how to make things a little bit more randomized and a little bit more individual for each participant as an alternative way of adjusting each of these trials individually. So as you can see, I've already set up my frame the way that I want it. I have four trials. I have a duration of two seconds, and I've hidden the mouse. So what I'm going to do lastly is just add an image to my frame. Okay, so let's get into creating our data frame for this experiment. I'm going to the variables tab again, adding a variable. This is going to be my new data frame. Perfect. Once I change the format to data frame, I again get this edit option. And let's go ahead and add four columns. In each of the columns, I'm going to upload four images. And these are going to form different conditions that I'm going to be randomizing. Okay, great. So for this study, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, assign these rows to mean trial number, but I'm going to randomize from which column the image is picked. So for trial one, I want the study to pick one of these images in this first row, and it's going to do that by drawing a random number from one to four to pick one of the columns. So I'll click OK and OK. To do this, let's add an event. The trigger is going to be frame start. And my first action is going to be a variable action, and we're drawing a random number. I'd like it to be discrete. My minimum draw is going to be 1, and my maximum is going to be 4, because that's my columns 1 through 4. I'm going to create a new variable to hold this number. The format is scalar, data type is numeric, and click OK. Great, so now we're drawing a random number from 1 to 4 at the start of every trial. Next, I need to show the image. So it's going to be an object action, setting an object property. My target is the image, and the property I'm changing is file data. Now, my action is going to be select a value from a data frame. My data frame is the one that we just created with all the images in it. My row is going to be the global variable trial number. And now, here comes the randomization part. For the column, I'm going to be using that variable we just created, that number draw. Okay, so now we have an action where on frame start, a random number between 1 and 4 inclusive is going to be drawn. And then the study will look at that data frame and using the trial number and that random number that we just drew, assign an image to that image object and click finish and save. So let's go ahead and do a test run of this. Okay, and there were my random images. This is a really great technique for when you want to have a good degree of control. So, like looking at my data frame, I have control over which image is assigned to where, but you also want to have flexibility in between participants, hence the random number draw. I can also change this event and use that random number as the row, as the column, as both, you can draw a couple random numbers. It all depends on what you need for your experiment. But this is a more complicated way of using data frames while still keeping it simpler than using the trials and conditions window. I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching.